Hello Year 11 and welcome to our third video here for our fifth topic. We are looking today at odd and even functions. Uh, you know what I find odd? Numbers can't be divided by two. Anyway, moving on, odd and even functions, right, don't describe all functions, only some special ones. Now, even functions, if we look at their graph like this one here, this is a nice example, a fine example of an even function. It is symmetrical about the y-axis. Okay, it has line symmetry in the y-axis. And we can test it algebraically, that if we substitute negative x for x, we will arrive with the same function when I simplify. Okay. That's even functions. Display line symmetry in the y-axis. Here's an example to demonstrate this. So we're asked to show that this function, x to the power of 4 minus 3, is an even function. So what I do is, I substitute negative x wherever I see x. So the function of negative x is negative x to the power of 4 minus 3. And negative x to the power of 4 is the same as x to the power of 4. And negative 3 being independent of x hasn't changed at all. And we can see here that this x to the power of 4 minus 3 is the same as function x. So there we go. x to the power of 4 minus 3 is an even function. Because when I substituted negative x for x, I arrived at the same function as function x. Hmm. Now, what do you reckon? Odd functions. Here is a graph of a particularly elegant even function. No, odd function. Odd function. This is an odd function. It displays rotational symmetry, right, about the origin, like a propeller or something, okay? Rotational symmetry. It is though it has been rotated 180 degrees and it would look just the same. Now, we can test this algebraically. We can test this algebraically by substituting negative x, and upon simplification, we should get the negative of function x. Okay. Here's an example. We want to show that x to the power of 3 is an odd function, and perhaps we know what that graph looks like, and you know we have a fair idea from thinking about that, picturing it in our mind's eye that it will be an odd function, but let's show that it is. So we substitute negative x for x. Negative x cubed, right, is the same as the negative of x cubed, right? Check that out. If I cube a negative, I get a negative. And we can see that that is the negative of my original function. Okay, that's the negative of function x. Therefore, x cubed is an odd function. How do we demonstrate that? By substituting negative x, simplifying, and we should find we have negative function x. Oh, that's it. Odd and even functions. We're done. Let's probably go back. <laughs> um, there we go. Odd and even functions. What do they mean? Even functions display line symmetry about the y-axis. Odd functions display point symmetry about the origin. Substitute negative in x into our original function to test if it's odd or even, and there's every chance that it will be neither, and that's perfectly reasonable. They don't have to be one or the other, and that's most typically the case, but sometimes they are one or the other, and even functions when negative x is substituted uh, will simplify to function x, and odd functions when negative x is substituted for x will simplify to be the negative of function x. Okay, if anything doesn't quite make sense, and you know it may not, if you're not sure, if you'd like some further clarification, please only to willing to help. Okay, uh, don't forget, uh, ask me in class or send me a message and I'll uh, get on to that as soon as we can. Thank you. Bye.